Hello, hello, and welcome back to Death Stranding. Let's, uh, go read some more terminal entries, huh? Mail. It's mail time. Alex, Weatherstone from Weather Station. Weather Station upgrade. You know, I'm not even technically part of the core staff. I'm medical. I was supposed to get to keep an eye on our skeleton crew. Make sure their heads stayed right. And somewhere along the line, I got roped into processing deliveries. Uh, deliveries, too. Anyway, before we can become part of the chiral network, the, or before we became part of the pyre... Before we became part of the chiral network, this place was a, weather sta was a weather station in name alone. We were collecting meteorolo meteorological data, but only over a pathetically small area. And we weren't able to share it with anyone. Aww. Prior to the stranding, they had countless weather satellites circling the whole planet, watching every move the clouds made, measuring every twist and turn of the wind. With that much data, it was easy to create a forecast. But things are different for us. We don't have a top-down view of the whole picture. Aww. But the Cupid... And the network have provided us with the next best thing, so our asthma's kicking in. Now that we can collect data from all over the world, we can generate more comprehensive models, which give us a much better chance of accurately tracking the fluctuations in chiral density. And not only that, we can send weather reports uh, to every city, prepare a shelter and, and bridges facilities and other, uh, prepper shelter and bridges facilities on the network. Now we really are doing something useful. We owe you big time, Sam. Yeah, that's actually so important in a world like this. Near views. What's the, what do we got here? Chiral clouds and time fall. Hartman, two years ago, in Hartman's lab. Why do chiral clouds form? Why does time fall occur? And why does it herald the manifestation of BTs? These are the questions we struggle to answer. As we now know, BTs are beings formed of something akin to antimatter. Their first appearance co coincided with the Death Stranding. Prior to that point, it is believed that there was very little in the way of antimatter present in our world at all. But we've learned since, or we've since learned that this was far from the case. For even before the Stranding, antimatter was all around us. I discovered a scientific paper on the subject titled. The, uh, on antimatter and clouds. According to the paper, the gamma radiation generated by lightning strikes can trigger the formation of, uh, po of positrons, and indeed, particles of antimatter can be detected inside regular rain clouds. The mechanisms by which they are formed is not fully understood, but the mere existence of the phenomenon is enough to suggest something intriguing. Chiral clouds contain chirillium, yes? Well, what would happen if gamma radiation were to act upon them in the same way it does in regular clouds? Could chirillium excited by gamma radiation exasper exasperate minute distortions in space-time, somehow loosening the seams that connect us to the beaches? And if so, when the excited chirillium mixes with timefall and descends onto the ground below, could the entire region beneath the cloud become much more strongly connected to the beach as a result? This could well explain why BTs appear in the area prone to timefall. So, the storms and the timefall are directly connected to the chirillium, so everything really does cycle back to chirillium. God! Oh, this is such good sci-fi writing! Ah, I'm gonna come! Furthermore, if antimatter were previously thought, uh, uh, pre if the antimatter previously thought did not even exist in any measurable quantity on our uh, on Earth, where in fact present in such commonplace phenomenon as the very clouds above us, could this not lead credence to the theory that BTs, beaches, and the world of the dead, all of these things may have existed long before the Stranding? Too much of a theoretical leap, perhaps. But do not deny our world change. I do not deny our world change. Did I misread that? Drastically and irrevocably. Nevertheless, 
Could it not be that the Death Stranding was merely the clap of thunder that brought this great change to our attention, and not the change itself? More interviews. Very cool. Harper Shelters, the Elder, two years ago. Personal shelter. Back before the Stranding. There were all kinds of companies selling all kinds of shelters. Hurricane-proof, earthcane-proof, disease-proof, war-proof, terror-proof. Probably had a recession-proof model, for all I know. Anyway, you could picture it all going to hell. They had a shelter for it. Or if you, any way you could picture it all going to hell, they had a shelter for it. And the guys building them? Military types. Astronological engineers. Amateur enthusiasts. Everybody and his uncle was out to make a buck, but if you wanted something that would actually last, you had yourself three solid choices. First, oop. first, there's your American survival shelter units. They were a global military hardware supplier, used to build big government bunkers, nuclear shelters, all that. They started selling to general consumers right before the stranding. Good timing, huh? Anyway, those babies were creme de la creme. Next up, you had the Millennium Preppers. They made it big right after the, str the stirring of terror attacks. Started out selling bank vaults and reinforced containers and the like. It wasn't hard for them to break into the shelter game. And they knew how to build them tough. Then there's your domestic guys. World safety housing. All about affordability they were. Cheap and cheerful. Well, as cheerful as anyone could be after the stranding. Still, they did a lot of good for little folk uh, after things so went to er, after things went to shit. Cool. Memory chips. What do we got here? Where's the new one? This. Oh, I gotta scan it still, right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's uh, do all of our bathing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now I want to bathe even more frequently considering I have something that will consume my Kyrillium slowly. Get all the Kyrillium out of my system I can. This game is so fucking good. The last couple of weeks have all been one really long recording session I've been doing, the last three hours of game. <sighs> it's been enjoyable. It's been a while since I sat down and did a stream this long. It's good, I'm enjoying it again. Hey, baby. I gotta do long streams like this more frequently. Let's do our munchies. <clears throat> and let's eat our crunchies. I wonder if that table in the background is ever going to have stuff on it. Oop, that's right, connected memories. <laughs> the mom must still be connected to some kind of life support if I've got a working BB, uh, right? What could it be? What could it be? Oh, oh, oh. oh look, Shabini. Hmm. Adorable. Poor guy. Oh, what about you, little one? <laughs> That's clearly his wife. And this is uh, this BB's his son or his like son, daughter, one? child. That's what I'm assuming. He's such a kind guy, it feels oh. like. Oh, what do we have I just gotta here? wonder what got his what BB separated from him. Here? I feel like yeah, we're gonna learn it was something really bad. 
to give my buddy his present too. I'm really worried. Won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> what? I'm done fighting. You're all that matters to me now, so I'm gonna stay right here with you. I feel like we're gonna learn that BB was stolen I from him. What to do with this one? Well, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Very quick. <laughs> Fuck me, so sad. All right, let's uh, do some crafting. Let's. No, let's not recycle that. Uh, private locker. Give me that. Ah, oh, fuck, the controller came disconnected. Just doing that. Let's do some fabricating. The jump ramp schematic has been added <laughs> to your PCC. These ramps harness the power of chiral crystals to propel you high into the air. Oh, cool. You can use them while driving or on foot or even when riding a floating carrier. Riding a flo I'm sorry. What? I can ride the floating carriers? Uh, give me a PCC to carry on me so I can build a shelter in a pinch. Give me a level 2 bola gun. Because I don't think I got one on me right now. And even if I do, an extra one's not gonna hurt. Same goes for that. Long range. Transporter. Use Carillum to float. They can be used as a mode of transport. I gotta try that out. Cycle some stuff. Let's da -da -da, come on. Claim all of this. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, take orders. 
been done, it's been done. Not been done. We'll take that. Been done, been done. Not been done. We will take that and we will store that one. I'm going to try and stop repeating missions, you know. Alright, um, oh, hey there. Oh, thank you, Swagastromina. I can use words. Swagastromina. The world's a better place with you in it, too. Offload that for now. Ah, shit. Did not mean to do that with all of them. Oh shit, no, those are the things on the carry, not things on the ground. Load all of those onto the carrier. these for now in the private locker cool so now how do I ride it kick forward bro oh okay it's like a skateboard. Beginning scan. Awesome. And it's still attached, right? Okay. That's some cool shit. I got a skateboard now, dude. I got a skateboard. I got a skateboard. I love that. This game's fucking great. I love this, dude. I keep up the speed. When you crest this hill, it's gonna be great. Just watch. Oh, it's becoming too steep, damn it. All right, so right now we wanna pay a visit up to the engineer. Yeah, that's where we're going. Okay, here we go. Let's ride that carrier. I feel like the double rope is conceptually a very helpful thing as well. We're gonna go downhill. This is about to be very cool. Come on. Just a little bit more of a crest over. Come on. I'm going downhill, aren't I? Why isn't it? Oh, this is lame. All right, now let's try this. So let's 
Today's a good day. This one's for you. I'm missing Today's a whole a bunch day. of likes. Thanks for the help. Today's a good day. Let's see if I can make good use of this thing. Oh my god, hang on. Really? Okay. Okay, we're gonna cancel that whole situation. Uh, clearly, motorcycle ain't worth it. You know what? We got a, we got a personal shelter here. Let's head into here and wrap up episode for the moment. This is a good spot to end. Being able to go into one of these. Sorry, I don't have better metal to improve you. So yeah, those of you watching on YouTube, I hope you've all been enjoying this episode of Death Stranding. And cards will be appearing in just a moment, so click one to continue watching. Love all you very, very, very much, and ta-ta for now.